So we're going to have a little fun here, which is actually good for kids, if you have kids at home. Um, but you can make some pretty sophisticated papers here. So all you're going to need is a candle. Um, and any candle will do. Wax, of course. And you're going to take some paper and some kind of texture that you're going to put underneath it. So... I'm going to put the stencil underneath. Um, some of you may not have stencils, so I'll show you some other options. And you're going to rub the, the paper with the wax candle pretty hard. Pretty, pretty hard. And once you've done that, you can then take the... There's nothing you can see, right? Okay, we may have done this as kids. But um, then you're going to take some very watered down paint. So let's say we'll take a little bit of green here. And we're going to run it across. And see, magic happens. Now the fun part is if you start mixing colors and making some kind of interesting overlays like that. Oh, that's gorgeous. And there you have this amazing paper that you can then use in your collages. Oh, I love that. That's beautiful. So that's with a stencil. Now, I'll show you closer how pretty that is. Put that aside. If you don't have stencils, you can go out into the garden and collect leaves. Anything that has a texture to it. So I turned these leaves upside down because this texture is a little stronger over here. And let's see what happens when we do that. You Again, you have to rub the wax on extremely hard so that it creates a barrier for the paint not to penetrate. And sometimes it works better than others. And now let's see, we'll take these out. You can't barely see anything. And let's try what happens with this beautiful blue color. Oh, oh, there we go. Oh, that's gorgeous. that again you can play with color mixing um, I kind of like this blue the way it is but you can play with other colors so now we have these gorgeous papers that we made and I'm going to show you one more fun thing for you out there who just wants to have fun with whatever you have in the kitchen. So let's just take a grater. <laughs> take your wax, rub it across. You can even turn the paper, rub it across differently. You can double up. Turn it. Actually, you can also use a spatula, anything, anything that has a texture to it. So, let's see what this is going to turn out like. Take a little bit of this reddish color. Ooh. Check it out. Look at that.
that. So you can be inventive with this, totally inventive, and um, do overlays. So please share with me what you get to do because I'm dying to see it. And then again, you know, look what happens when you combine these into some kind of interesting collage later on. Can you see that? That's cool. 